students today i am here with some more concepts of chapter decimals so today we will learn multiplication and division of decimals let's start with the multiplication of decimals first of all we will learn multiplication of decimals by a whole number let's see the example children here example is 412.13 into 25 in this example it's a decimal and it is a whole number so children we have to multiply a decimal by a whole number and the method is first of all we have to multiply both the numbers without decimal point so arrange them without decimal it will be 41213 into 25 now multiply as we do 5 3 0 15 carry 1 5 5 1 6 5 2 0 10 carry 1 5 5 1 6 5 4 0 20 now the next row first we have to put here cross as to one space now multiply 2 3 0 6 2 1 0 2 2 2 0 4 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. Now we have to add these two rows. Now add, it will be 5. 6 plus 6, 12. Carry 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 6 plus 4, 10. Carry 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 8 plus 2, 10. So the product is 1030325. Now children, the very important thing is. how to put decimal in the product now write the product first product is 1030325 the very important thing is to put decimal here what is the method what is the rule children first of all we have to count the number of decimal places in the decimal you can see number of decimal places is 2 so there must be two number of decimal places in the product i told there must be two number of decimal places in the product as it was in multiplicand so we have to make here two number of decimal places count 1 and 2 so we will put here a 412.13 and 25 Is equals to ten thousand three hundred three point two five. Now, multiplication of a decimal by ten hundred or thousands. Children, when a decimal is multiplied by ten hundred or thousand, decimal point is shifted to right hand side according to the number of zeros. It means if a decimal is multiplied by ten. then decimal point will be shifted towards right by one place and if a decimal is multiplied by 100 then decimal place will be shifted to right hand side by two places and if it is multiplied by 1000 then decimal place then decimal point is shifted towards right hand side by three places now see the example 14.52 into 10 as i told you according to the number of zeros A decimal is multiplied by ten, so here there is one zero. It means decimal will be shifted to right hand side by one place, and it will come here. So answer will be one hundred forty-five point two. Next example: A decimal ninety-three point one five seven is multiplied by hundred. Here. two zeros you can see two zeros now decimal will be shifted to right hand side by two places so it will come here and answer will be 9315.7 next example 2.792 is multiplied by 1000 means three number of zeros so decimal will be shifted towards the right hand side by three places so 1 2 and 3 it 
it will come here. It means answer will be 2792.0. And here no need to write 0 after point. So we will remove it. So answer will be 2792. Next is multiplication of decimal by a decimal. Now see the example 19.21 into 2.8. You can see both the numbers are decimal. So we have to multiply a decimal by a decimal. So the method is same. First of all we have to multiply both the numbers without decimal point. So without decimal point it will be 1921 and without decimal it will be 28. Now arrange them to multiply. Now do the multiplication as we do. 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, carry 1, 8 nines are 72 plus 1, 73, carry 7, 8 ones are 8 plus 7, 15. Next row, so put cross here, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 nines are 18, carry 1, 2 ones are 2 plus 1, 3. Now we have to add these two rows. 8 plus 0, 8, 6 plus 2, 8, 4 plus 3, 7, 8 plus 5, 13, carry 1, 3, 4 plus 1, 5. Now the product is 5, 3, 7, 8, 8. Now the very important thing is how to put decimal point in the product. Now, so here children, see the number of decimal places here, it is 2. Here, the number of decimal place is 1. Now we have to, what we have to do? We have to add the number of decimal places in both the decimal. Here it is 2, here it is 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So now we have to make the number of decimal places 3 in the product. So count from the right hand side 1, 2, 3. And after 3, put here decimal. So the answer will be 53.788. Product is 53.788. Now see the another example. Product of 3 decimals. 12.4 into 1.5 into 0.6. To solve this, first of all we have to multiply two numbers, first two numbers without decimal point. Now without decimal point it will be 124 and it will be 15. Now multiply 5 fours are 20, carry 2, 5 twos are 10 plus 2, 12, carry 1, 5 ones are 5 plus 1, 6. Now the second row put here cross, 1 fours are 4, 1 twos are 2, 1 ones are 1. Now we have to add these two rows. 0, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, that is 1. 1860 is the product. Now we have to multiply this product 1860 by the third number without decimal point. So without decimal point it will be 6 only. It will be 0, 6, so we have to write 6. Now multiply. 6 zeros are 0, 6 6 are 36, carry 3, 6 8 are 48, plus 3 51, carry 5, 6 1 are 6, plus 5 11. So, product is 1 1 1 6 0. Now, the very important thing is how to put the decimal. Again, Count the number of decimal places. Here it is 1. Here also it is 1. Here also it is 1. Again we have to add the number of decimal places in all 3 decimals. So it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1. 3 number of decimal places must be in the product. There must be 3 number of decimal places in the product obtained. So start counting from right hand side. 1, 2, 3. So here we have to put the decimal 
Now the product will be 11.160. Let's discuss the word sum. Cost of 1 kg potato is rupees 10.25. Then what will be the cost of 3.5 kg potatoes? So children, to solve the word sum, first of all we have to identify the operation used. Means which of the mathematical operation we have to use here. So let's see what is given and what we have to find. Cost of 1 kg potato is given and we have to find the cost of 3.5 kg potatoes. Means cost of 1 is given and we have to find the cost of more. So children, more for multiplication, it means we have to use multiplication here to get the answer. Now let's see the solution. Cost of 1 kg potato is equal to rupees 10.25. Therefore, cost of 3.5 kg potatoes is equal to rupees 10.25 into 3.5. Now, the method is same. We have to multiply both the numbers without decimal point. Without decimal point, it will be 1025 and it will be 35. Now multiply as we do. 5 fives are 25, carry 2. 5 twos are 10 plus 2, 12, carry 1. 5 zeros are 0 plus 1, 1. 5 ones are 5. Next row, to put cross here. 3 fives are 50, carry 1. 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7. 3 zeros are 0 and 3 ones are now we have to add these two rows. It will be 5 plus 0, 5. 2 plus 5, 7. 7 plus 1, 8. 5 plus 0, 5. And 3. So the product is 3, 5, 8, 7, 5. Now the very important thing is how and where to put the decimal. Again, rule is same. We have to count the number of decimal places in the first number that is 2. Here number of decimal place is 1. And their sum 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have to make here 3 number of decimal places. It means there must be 3 number of decimal places in the product. Now start counting from right hand side 1, 2, 3 and put here decimal. 3 number of decimal places is in the product now. So, answer is 35.875. Let me tell you a very important thing children that money can be expressed up to 2 decimal places only. But you can see there are 3 decimal places in this number. So, we have to round it off. And after rounding off, the approximate cost of 3.5 kg potatoes is 35.875. We can also say the cost of 3.5 kg potatoes is rupee 35 and 88 pences. Now we have to learn division of decimals. Division of decimals by a whole number. See the example children. 25.944 divided by 6. Now how to divide a decimal by a whole number? We have to divide the number the decimal number as it is a whole number. Now start dividing. We have to read the table of 6 to get 25. So we will read 6 fours are 24. Now 1 is remaining. And we have to copy the next digit. But as 9 is after decimal. So if we want to copy the digit after decimal. We have to put decimal in the quotient. Now we can copy down the digit. Now read the table to bring 19. So 6 threes are 18. 1 is remaining. Again we have to copy the next digit. That is 4. Now read the table to bring 40. 6 twos are 12. Now 2 is remaining. Now we have to copy the last digit that is 4 and read the table to bring 24. 6 fours are 24. 0 is remaining. 
So the quotient is 4.324. Now the last is division of decimals by 10 hundred thousand and multiples of 10 hundred and thousand. Children, when a decimal is divided by 10 hundred or thousand, the decimal point is shifted to left hand side according to the number of zeros. If a number is divided by 10, if a decimal is divided by 10, then decimal will be shifted towards left by one place. And if it is divided by 100, then decimal will be shifted towards the left by two places. Similarly, if a decimal is divided by 1000, the decimal will be shifted to left hand side by three places. Now see, 13.5. Children, 13.5 is divided by 10. Here it is 1 zero. So, decimal will be shifted to left hand side by one place and it will come here. So, answer will be 1.35. Next is 49 divided by 1000 means 3 zeros. So, decimal will be shifted to left hand side by 3 places. Now, where is decimal? Children, it is a whole number. So, decimal is here. Now, we have to shift this decimal to left hand side by 3 places. But again, here only 2 digit. Now, what to do? We can increase a 0 at the left hand side. Now, we have 3 digit. We can shift the decimal by 3 places. 1, 2 and 3. Decimal will be here. So the answer will be 0 0.049. And we will put here 0 to show that whole number is 0. So answer is 0 0.049. Next is 3.9 divided by 30. Now, how to divide? Children, to get it, first of all, we divide this decimal by 3. Let's divide here. Three ones are 3. Now, we have to put point in the quotient to copy down this 9. 3 3s are 9. Means, Quotient is 1.3. Quotient is 1.3. Now we have to divide it by 10. As we have divided this by 3, now 10 is left to divide. Now we have to divide 1.3 by 10. Means decimal will be shifted to left hand side by 1 place. So 1.3 decimal is here and it will be shifted by 1 time. It will come here and the answer will be 0 0.13. Children, same with the 76.5 divided by 500. Here again, we have to divide the number 76.5 by 5. First, we divide the decimal. It will get 5 ones are 5, 2 remaining, copy down 6, 5, 5 ones are 25, 1 is remaining. Now to copy down this 5, we have to put point, decimal point in the quotient. Now we have to read the table to bring 15, 5 threes are 15. Quotient is 15.5. Now, we have divided it by 5. Now, we have to divide it by 100. Means, two zeros. So, decimal will be shifted to, will be shifted to left hand side by two places. 15.3. Decimal will be shifted to left hand side by two places. 1 and 2. Decimal will be here. So, answer will be 0 0.153. So, children, 
decimal chapter is finished and what you have to do you have to practice the chapter you have to go through the videos again and again to make the concepts clear so thank you children god bless you all